Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. You are in Cikgu Dila channel. And today, we will learn about microorganisms. But in this video, I will focus more on the useful microorganisms and harmful microorganisms. Useful microorganisms and harmful microorganisms. So the harmful effect of microorganisms, it can be can causing illness, causing food poisoning, causing food to turn bad, and it also can causing tooth decay. But the use of microorganisms, it can be in food manufacturing, productions of antibiotic and vaccines, and also for the compositions of organic materials. We will go through one by one the harmful effect of microorganisms and the use of microorganisms. So we go to the first one, which is the harmful microorganism. So this is some of example harmful microorganisms, where harmful microorganisms such as virus, it can cause measles, chickenpox, AIDS, and also flu. Whereas bacteria, it can cause stomach ache stomach upset, tooth decay, and tuberculosis. Some fungi that can cause a ringworm and also a white spot. Protozoa, it can cause malaria and dysentery, whereas virus and bacteria, it can cause the conjunctivitis. So, harmful microorganisms, here we look at at the type of disease. Disease can be divided into two, which is contagious disease and non-contagious disease. What is contagious disease? Contagious disease is a disease that can spread from one person to another through air, water, direct contact, and factors such as mosquitoes, flies, and rats. So it is important for us to take care of our health, take care of our hygiene, because some disease can spread to air. To air, water direct contract, for example, like COVID-19, some of us say that it can spread to another through air. So that's why we need to wear masks. Next. So this is some example of contagious disease, for example, like malaria, ringworm, tuberculosis, and conjunctivitis. Next. The harmful effect of microorganisms, some of it, it can cause tooth decay. For example, like this, we we'll usually see this kind of tooth decay. So, what happened actually to the tooth is the actions of bacteria on food waste that sticks between the teeth can cause the tooth decay. So, it is important for us to wash, our, not wash, brush your teeth, okay, brush our teeth. It is because bacteria present in the mouth convert sugar and starch from food into acid that cause tooth decay. So actually, our uh, our toothpaste is alkaline. So it helps to neutralize the acid in our mouth. And then, so remember, we need to brush our teeth at least twice a day. So to keep our mouth clean. And we also need to see a dentist for a treatment at least every six months. Next, the harmful effect of microorganism is microorganism can cause food to turn bad. Okay, so look. This one, the cabbage being uh, already being withered. And then the meat becomes stale, the bread becomes moldy, and Fruits, some of fruit change their colors. So this shows that the act of microorganisms, for example, like this in this in these figures, the apples change color from green into black or brown. So this is the tips. So we need to store food in a suitable place and use appropriate food preservation method to prevent food spoilage. So. It's either we can put it in the fridge. There are several type of food preservations, and for standard six, you will learn it in the next chapter. Food preservation. So, food. If the food being 
contaminate with microorganisms that food can cause food poisoning to us. So, microorganisms spoil food and it can cause the change in the, we can see the change in the shape, the change of the smell. The smell might be different and sometimes when we smell at first it smells sweet. But after a few days, the smell becomes sour and not really good. Uh, so the taste also might different. And then texture. The texture of the food that spoiled by microorganisms also different. So spoiled food can cause food poisoning with a symptom of diarrhea, vomiting, and headache. So this is the sign of food poisoning. If you have this kind of sign, this, there is a possibility that you have a food poisoning. For example, nausea, headache, stomach ache, diarrhea, fever, and also vomit. Okay, this is a sign of food poisoning. If you have one, either one of these signs, please go to the doctor. See the doctor and get a treatment. Next, we move to the good side of microorganisms. That is the bad side. This is the good side of microorganism. The uses of microorganisms. First, microorganisms used in food manufacturing. I know some of you like cheese, everything that they add with cheese. Okay, do you know that cheese is made by the egg of microorganisms? Micro Same with yogurt, like the Yakult. Nitrogen, uh, well, Nestle Bliss, okay, that, that's a yogurt drink, okay. So, that yogurt drink, yogurt, cheese are made from microorganism. So, bacteria are used in making cheese and yogurt. So, we have bread, tapai, and tempeh. I love tempeh, okay. Sambal tempeh. So, to make this bread, tapai, and tempeh, we use yeast. So, we get that food. So that is a food manufacturing. Next, productions of antibiotic and vaccines. So the, consum the consumptions of antibiotics and vaccines strengthen the immune system. Antibiotics and vaccines are used to prevent the growth of disease causing microorganisms. So that's why it is important for us to take vaccine. If we take, take vaccines, that means our body already have the immune system to fight that bad bacteria or bad um, virus. Uh, that's the important things for us to have vaccines. And one important thing, so when the doctors give you an antibiotics, make sure you need to complete the antibiotic even though you already feel healthy. You need to complete the antibiotic. So next time when the same disease come attack, you, ha you already have the immune system <laughs> the immunity okay so this is antibiotic and vaccine next decompositions of organic materials so organic materials is something that can be decomposed when you put it at one place after a few times and a few times after a certain times it will decompose so microorganisms can help to decompose organic material so what is the uses of it so for example like this one microorganisms can help to decompose chickens cow and goat feces when this material are mixed with sawdust they will decay and form organic fertilizer so you can use this as organic fertilizer next okay so water treatment sewage so bacteria are used to treat sewage and destroy toxic waste found in sewage treatment plants. So this is important for us because this uh, water treatment help us to get a clean water. Mm -hmm. Clean water from our home tap. Next, uh, do you see this? Okay, can you guess out what is it? Okay, this is the step to prevent contagious disease. Okay, f the first one, wash hand before eating. But now I know we need to wash time every time. We need to wash our hands uh, 
every time we go out and then wash your hands, clip out, keep our hygiene. Ah, uh, it's important. Next, mm, do not share personal items with other people because we don't know that people might have virus, might have bacteria that can infect you. So don't share. I have my own. You have your own. Okay. Next, quarantine patients with contagious disease. This is what Malaysia is doing now. They quarantine the people who are already infected with COVID-19. They quarantine at a certain place. So they do not uh, infect, another pe infect, infect another people. Next, prepare hygiene food. Because this is important. If you're not eating a hygiene food, clean so we might get food poisoning and then last one boil water for drinking this is also one of the important things because microorganisms can live in the water uh, remember there are several type of microorganisms that can live in water so it is important for us to boil water to kill the microorganism okay next okay this is might be the last one Okay, you can see sneezing, hand sanitizer. Okay, so this is the daily routines to prevent contracting contagious disease. So wash hands, avoid food which exposed to flies because flies can bring the bring the microorganisms. So flies touch the trash and then step on your food and then you eat no so make sure avoid food which exposed to flies and then use soap or antiseptic soap when having a shower and cover nose and mouth cover food and try to uh, try to stay away from patients who are infected with contagious disease so um I think that's it for this lesson. Make sure keep your hygiene. You uh, always wash your hands, not always all the time, but you need to wash your hands. Okay, keep clean, keep your hygiene, stay safe. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. So like and subscribe. See you in my next videos. Bye.